Big up all my TA winners, back again with another video. And this video is all about the top five, or at least five of my favorite keys to online dating. Let's go. The first key to online dating is getting your bio correct on online dating apps. So most people, they've either got, you know, just all emojis on their bio, or it's completely empty, or it's got quotes from other people, or it might even just be like an amalgamation of all of those three things. You don't want to do that. You want to stand out. You want to be authentically you, and you want to make a difference, all right? So the best way to stand out for me is to include these three key things. So this point one has a few moving parts to it, but it's gonna be the only one that has so many moving parts. So this is the hardest one first, all right? But pay attention. You've got to include something funny in your bio, all right? It could be an experience that embarrassed you, anything like that, but something funny, something to let people know you've got a sense of humor. Second thing that you've got to include is something that shows you have values, all right? It could be a political stance, BLM or equality, women's rights, anything like that, all right? The third thing that you have to include or it will help you to include would be, you know, a conversations piece, something that if someone looked at your profile, they can go, all right, I'm gonna mention this to him or I'm gonna start a conversation about this. So if you like salsa dancing, for example, uh, you can put something about that and then someone can message you and say, hey, you like salsa dancing too. I like that too. Let's go. You know, make it easy for someone to approach you in the online dating realm. And the last part of key one <laughs> is making sure you got your photo right, all right? You kind of want to choose photos that tell a story about you, that let people know a little bit more about who you are. I mean, everyone can do the typical photo with a cocktail or at a bar or with loads of friends but look you want to mix it up a little bit you can have you can have those photos too but make sure you've got a photo that really says something about who you are if you like skiing a photo of you skiing if you like doing mma maybe a picture of you in your gear you know if you like going out with friends maybe you can even include a video on hinge they allow you to include a video i believe so you can do stuff like that mix it up you know this is an opportunity to show who you are and you know where words can't do everything pictures can kind of tell a thousand words all right so take that into account the second major key all right the algorithm the algorithm of dating apps they all have algorithms so I'm not saying to try to manipulate the algorithm, but all I'm saying is I've seen so many guys that literally go on and first they're thinking, all right, I'm going to be a bit selective, but then they realize they're not getting chosen. They're not getting any matches. So then <laughs> I think their self-esteem is, is hit by that and they start just swiping to get as many matches as they can just to get a match. Um, and it's not even about the quality. It just becomes about the quantity. But then what happens is the algorithm realizes that and the more people that you swipe without matching, the less attractive you are to the algorithm and it pushes you down and it will show you to less women and definitely to less attractive women. So we all get a score in the algorithm, you see? And the aim of the, these apps is to keep people on there. They wanna keep as many women on there as possible so they want to match women with as many attractive guys as they can. They want to keep as many men on there as possible. So they want to, they want guys to match with just whatever women they can. It, the, the apps really are catered towards women though. That's the truth, you know, because if there are no women on there, there will be you no know, guys on there. <laughs> and 70% of the people on the apps are actually guys. So it's a lot harder to keep women on there, obviously, because guys are going to be on there. So they have to do whatever they can to keep women on there. So ultimately, um, it's in your best interest to be more selective because if you keep, you know, bulldozing through everybody and still not get any matches, you're just gonna plummet and plummet and plummet and you're gonna get such a diminishing return 
on even opening up the app each day, you might as well just not be on it. Okay, so major key number three, all right? And this is actually a big one because this is what happens after you've matched. So you've managed to, you know, <laughs> get a match finally, right? And you're thinking, oh, I quite like this one. Do not just say, hey. I'm not saying it's the ultimate kiss of death. Like if the girl really finds you attractive, she might still reply. But you have to understand women on these apps have so many options, right? That you could be like a 10 and still she could turn you down. All right, so always remember, try and be a little bit more inventive than just hey. And the reason you don't want to just say hey is it sounds rather unenthusiastic. And I would advise girls to not say hey either as well. You know, um, it sounds really unenthusiastic and it just tells the other person that, yep, I guess I, I'm going to be carrying this conversation then. You know, and it just makes them think, ah, do I really want to do this? I've got other matches. They're more fun. I'll just talk to them more. All right? So you don't want to, essentially you'll be ghosted. You could, this is very high probability of you being ghosted. All right? Now, um, a way around this, because I don't want to just give you doom and gloom. The way around this is I'd recommend asking a question. You know, preferably um, something unique and maybe something that interests you. You can ask them if they like dancing. That way, if they say yes, you can escalate and escalate, and maybe you can end up going dance with them on a date. I wouldn't recommend that now because of uh, the C word. <laughs> but you know, you can go for a walk. You know, ask them if they like going on walks. Ask them what their favorite park is. There's loads of different ways to get around this, all right? The fourth major key, try not to stay in the dating app for too long. Like don't just keep messaging back and forth within the dating app. You have to understand that psychologically, that girl that you're messaging, she's talking to loads of other guys on that same dating app. And 90% of those guys will not end up dating this girl. She will not go on dates with them. She won't meet them. She probably won't even speak to them on the phone. All right? Now, after she's done that for quite some time, she gets used to like, you know, talking to people, exchanging, a few pleasantries and then moving on to another person. You want to get yourself out of that category completely. You want to speak to her on WhatsApp, you want to speak to her on the phone, through text, anything but that dating app, all right? So you really kind of want to limit your conversation with her to about, I'd say about five exchanges maximum. Like, you know, back and forth. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Like, it gets boring after a while anyway. She's going to be wondering, like, what's this guy on? What's he, what, <laughs> why doesn't he want to take things further? Because she's expected it. Trust me. Trust me. Take the lead on this one, all right? Um, just say something like, oh, do you know what? I'm hardly on here. It's a little bit boring on here. Let's, let's get into something. Let's go somewhere a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> you know, make it fun. Just have a laugh. The fifth, the fifth tip. The fifth major key, all right, is messaging without meeting up. So what I'm saying is even if you've managed to like get out of the app, so you're talking to her on WhatsApp now, and you're still just messaging, 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 like it still gets boring. You know, if she's a somewhat attractive girl, there are gonna be other guys on her WhatsApp too. And she may not have met them or she may meet them. You know, she might end up meeting one that she likes and that will be her guy and then you're gonna be gone. <laughs> so you kind of want to be that person. You want to take her on a date. You want to experience her in real life. You know, um, you just have to escalate it from, from, from messaging on apps. Now, obviously, uh, if we're, you're still on lockdown, if you're watching this now and you're on lockdown, or if we end up being on lockdown again, God forbid, um, in the future, then I would say at least talk to her on the phone. Don't just keep messaging with words, you know. I mean, if, if she's on WhatsApp, you should be voice noting her immediately anyway. As soon as you've got a WhatsApp, I'd say skip the, 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 the text and just start voice noting search. At least it feels like she's getting to know a person a bit more and she can hear your tonality, your inflections, and you might have a great voice, but she might really like that. You know, sometimes just the, it's not even what you say, it's how you say it. And if you say things in the right way, the right tonality, you could like kind of 
appeal to her reptilian brain. She might just start falling in love just like that. So um, use what you have at your disposal, all right? And get her on the blower, get her on the phone, and uh, try and get her in real life if you can, if you're not on lockdown, all right? Um, and that's about it. Now, if you do all of those right, you're gonna be in very good stead, all right? Thank me later. I bid you farewell. But before that, I need to ask you to do something for me. And you know what it is. I need you to comment. If you like the video, say something cool. Uh, if you think it added value, please share the video. I want you to subscribe. I'm gonna say that again, I want you to subscribe. I'm gonna say that one more time. You must subscribe. But also, I want you to um, click that notification bell so that whenever I put a video up here, you get it. You get a little message, you get a little notification on it, all right? If also, here's a really cool thing. If there's anything that you think I should have added, like if there are any tips to online dating that you want to hear, or that you think are better than this, or you think are just great additions to the list, put them in the comments. I wanna hear from you guys, all right? Um, add me on Instagram, it's Aaron Beasy on Instagram. Um, and if there are any questions that you might want me to answer or any um, subjects that you think will be good uh, for a video pertaining to, you know, fashion, dating, image, confidence, anything surrounding those subjects, let me know. I'd love to be of service, guys. Also, check out my website, www.tieralpha360.com. We're doing amazing work there. Uh, we've got a lot of people um, working with me and their, you know, their lives are being changed. We've got a lot of people hitting, breaking that six figure, <laughs> breaking that six figure mark. Like, you know, they've been on six figures by now. Now they're really killing it. And um, I'm really, really proud that I'm able to be a part of that and help them go to get to, you know, those places. But it's not all about the money they're making. It's about how they feel. And I think a lot of people are having really major mental breakthroughs in their life and they're the happiest they've ever been. And I'm just happy to be of service to kind of help people get to those places. It really makes me happy as well. Um, it, I feel like I'm, do, I'm fulfilling my purpose and I don't know if I've ever been happier, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, that's the truth. So yeah, check out the website, www.tiralpha360.com. Um, you know, it, it will definitely improve your life if you, if you hope you want to get involved. But you know, just watching this, these videos as well should definitely improve your life. Just take it in. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep providing value as much as I can. And I'm gonna keep pushing this stuff to you guys. And uh, let me know what you think. Peace and love, man.